show you a cool idea for an electromagnetic swamp cooler. Thought of something really neat here. A little twist on the typical swamp cooler. Whereas you have your BPA container and your BPA lid and all that, I have added an extra uh, containment tray, which could be like glass or like a, you know, some other form, you know, of uh, containment for your ice when it melts. It uh, soaks up the BPA, so that's a uh, kind of an issue. So <clears throat> another issue is price. If you want a really good cooler, like a Yeti cooler, you'll have to spend like four or five hundred dollars. But if you get a spray a spray foam insulator, like a like a gun or like an injector of some sort, or like a, uh, you know like a caulk gun, you can put a hole in it and fill it up yourself with the spray foam insulation and make it work like a Yeti does. So that's the only price range difference there. Then you wanna line this with copper tape because whenever all of this gets going, it's gonna go airborne and you can actually ground it from the outside to actually electrify the air that comes up. So it catches all the copper and it, the energy, the negative energy is all like uh, uh, coming out of the earth, literally from the ground. So that blows out through the blower and the PVC, which is sending it in and out of here. And then of course the copper tape is lining the inside of the PVC and then the under part of this. So all of it is literally uh, like a chi machine almost because you're breathing in uh, electromagnetism that is actually being harnessed by uh, these two surfaces being lined with copper and then the copper ground pretty interesting and it stays cold for up to six hours but the yeti goes up to like 12 hours sometimes three four days out here so that's the only difference is spray foam insulation so check it out real simple way to make your own swamp cooler and have clean air that doesn't steal your chi in your uh, telekinesis like the ac does stay awake